Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Rocket Dog RC. As you can see here, I got the VS410 up here. It is done. Stay tuned. So, as you can see here, got the VS410. It's all painted. Paint job didn't turn out as good as I wanted. Um, the first body that I did, I had a different style of stripe on the side and I had a lot of bleed over from when I when it painted. This one does too but on the camera you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but here on the silver stripe it bled over a little bit. Not so bad. But I wanted this to be, you know, a uh, higher end style build. So Basically, what what it is, it's just, it's a stock VS410 from Vanquish. The only thing is, it's it's a Holmes Hobby steering servo, ESC, and a brushless motor. It's a 1700 kV brushless motor. Um, we got the the previous uh, video that I did. I showed you about the locked up RC wheels, and uh, they're super wides, and I got them on pimples. There are still 90 degree or uh, 90 millimeter shocks in the front and 90s in the back. So I'm gonna probably end up keeping it that way for a little while until I want to run it, you know, and just see how it works like that. But there it is. This thing went together pretty pretty easy. I like the way uh, Vanquish did their their build book and stuff like that, teaching you how to showing you how to put stuff together and everything but I, there's some questions in here that I, that I've that I have like there's two bolt threaded bolt holes here in the front of this bumper what are those for because you can't put a winch in it there's nothing on here on the outside to put a, a hoop or anything like that so I don't, I don't know what's going on there um, this thing, I love this thing. It's awesome. Put a little preload in the front here. There yeah, so they'll kind of stay up a little bit more. But you guys, tell me what you think. Um, I mean, I even I went out and. Got the, the orange bead locks inside and out, the orange knuckles. Took some research to figure out that I can get those in orange. Um, let's see what else is there. Other than that, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, let's get this body off. Now I do have the light kit, it is installed and I just got to be able to hook it up with a standard J JST plug. Put that aside. So here you go. I got, it doesn't come with a receiver box, but I went out and bought a few of these waterproof axial receiver boxes. So I got my receiver in there, it's all shoe good. I got a one single screw to hold it in place to keep it from moving around, whatever. But it's all shoe glued in place. Everything is uh, good to go. I mean, you can see I tried to make it as clean as possible when I wired this. Um, that's the power wire for the servo. That's the SVH 500. So that's the the big boy right there. And hopefully it'll it work. It'll work pretty good. And it's it's a pretty nice smooth servo. I like that. I'm gonna run them in a couple other rigs. Got the waterproof B BXL 1700 kV brushless motor, all waterproof. So this thing is uh, pretty cool. I'd like to try and get it out on the get it out on the rocks and everything like that. You can see the license plate there. SRDLV.com. That's where I got that. Locked up RC wheels, pit bull tires. 
This thing is, uh, it's nice. I like it. Make sure my preloads on the shock aren't too, too hard. But, this is, uh, it's been a great build. I mean, I'd probably build another one if I can get them a little bit cheaper, but 900 bucks for the kit. I don't know. I like to have another one though. Because I would do the body a little bit different. I would probably take and I'd cut the top. I'd probably take and, and cut the top off and then put the, the Night Customs roll cage in it. I do have that roll cage. I was going to put it in here, but I, I forgot to test fit it to see before I put the interior and everything. So I was like, ah, what can you do? <laughs> so, I don't know. I'd like to get another one and uh, just do a, uh, you know, a topless one. Probably painting a different color. Um, I like this here. There's the color and everything like this. It looks looks pretty cool. It looks especially on a video when I look, I'm looking at there. But there it is. This is a Vanquish VS410. They did a pretty good job when they uh, designed this truck. I don't know how it crawls yet, but I'm from just working on it and stuff like that. It, you can tell this is work. It's going to work really good. A lot of design and engineering in, in this truck. Probably going to be the next best thing to the TRX4. Only because uh, it's all aluminum. And it's got all the weight bias right where it needs to be. So there you go. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, share the video, and uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, when that little bell on the right hand side of the subscribe button comes up, just click on that. That way you can get all my videos every week. Alright guys, tell me what you think about the VS410, whether you're planning on getting one or if you already got one. And uh, looking forward to hearing, hearing and reading your, comment, your comments. Thanks. Have a good day.